This past weekend saw a new twist in the price war in electric vehicles that's been going on since last year. Well, this time because of a pledge against abnormal pricing signed last week by 16 Chinese automakers and, interestingly, Tesla. Then Tesla rolled out a new incentive for purchase referrals and Chinese automakers retracted their pledge, adding that it appeared to violate China's antitrust laws. Now, the group instead urged Chinese automakers to comply with local laws and continue independent pricing. But what exactly was this agreement in the first place? Well, yesterday I spoke with Gregor Sebastian of the Mercator Institute for China Studies, and he explained it like this. Thank you for having me, Stephen. Yeah, so this agreement, which has been orchestrated by the CAAM, which is the Chinese Automotive um, Association, so the most important and also a state-directed um, association in China, is really the um, outcome of half a year of intense um, price cuts by Chinese and also foreign electric vehicle manufacturers, which has led some in the Chinese government to believe that this is actually harmful to the industry and consumers more widely. And we're hearing, of course, that it's now fallen through, that Tesla continued with uh, uh, price-lowering activities. Does this surprise you? It is certainly surprising because obviously there's a lot of back and forth between the government. Now we're not only hearing that Tesla has once again cut prices just um, a couple of days, if not hours, after the agreement was um, signed. We're also hearing that the agreement in the first place might not be um, aligned with China's antitrust regulation. So there seems to be a lot um, that has uh, shocked the government and also uh, participants in, in this uh, intense price war and ongoing negotiation. This price war in the EV sector, it's been going on since late last year. What began this in the first place? So we saw that Tesla in um, early January cut prices, and this was already following initial price cuts by the American uh, EV producer in October last year. And after that, it really spiraled out of control, at least from the government's perspective, because um, Chinese EV makers piled in. They uh, reduced vehicle prices by as much as 30, 40 percent. Um, and then foreign car makers also entered the fray. Um, we had some dealerships uh, selling Toyota vehicles actually offering you a free internal combustion engine vehicle if you were buying Toyota's latest EV. Um, so this was uh, really concerning to some in the industry. Of course, that eats into profits in a significant way. How serious could this be for EV companies in China and abroad? Um, for Chinese companies, it's really concerning. A lot of them actually don't run a profit yet. Um, taking away BYD, which is obviously the market leader and is also um, in the battery business, so has a lot of um, profits to play with. But a lot of the smaller players, and we're really talking about dozens of companies, they uh, really depend on the couple of sales that they have and on generous government support. So for them, this price war is, is really dangerous. Um, but also foreign companies are starting to get worried because this is eating um, into the, um, well, basically cash cow that China has been for them. They have to reduce prices to actually retain their market share. Um, the, the good thing for them is that they have deeper pockets at the moment. So for them, this price war hasn't been as bad as for some of the smaller EV players. All right, that's Gregor Sebastian with the Mercator Institute for China Studies. Thank you. Thank you.